having a wonderful long Hi, it's weekend <laughs> it is actually afternoon <laughs> we've had a relaxing morning just doesn't feel right saying good afternoon i fam yeah because you're like don't feel right well, i'm starting watch the day like... so, yeah everyone watched it at like five o'clock i know there, i should right? always say good evening guys we've had a pretty relaxing morning this morning just not doing too <laughs> much we've had, yeah chris has been at the office again we'll let everyone know so that they can yeah. all everyone give you just, lots of praise out for me right now we um uh, we have been doing a bit of online ordering we've what, what did we order this morning? Oh, a new bed. We've got a new bed, me and Chris. And a new feature that we're doing above our bed, which I'm not gonna lie, I, we were in two minds, well, I was in two minds about doing because it's pretty expensive. And I just, do you know when you're buying something for yourself, if it was something for the kids' rooms, I wouldn't have even questioned it. I would have just bought it. But because it's for hours, I was kind of a little bit like, well, is it really going to make much of a difference if we don't have it? And Chris was like, yeah, it is. We want it. We love it. Let's just buy it. So we ended up buying it. And I, now I feel a little bit guilty that we spent so much on it. Um, but it's done now. It's done. We've got the bed. We've got the feature thing that we wanted to buy. And I can't wait to show you guys, like, our idea for our bedroom. What else did we buy? Oh, it was just a balancing, wasn't it? Um, uh, what's wrong to do Oh. Okay. I'm <laughs> um, actually that's my Easter egg that I won. Pulls. Thank you. Waiting for Perry. So anyway, that all been done. We're now in the car. We're about to head to Asda, little little Asda. In the car. <laughs> We're about to head to little Asda and grab a pic. <laughs> and grab a little picnic and then we're going out for a picnic and a long walk to somewhere really cool. Wow, look at that water. So nice. Things going in already? Thinking of jumping. Jace is definitely thinking of jumping in. Yeah. Look at that water, Jace. It's nice, right? Down, down here. Down here, yeah. Let's sit down and have a picnic. Let's go find somewhere to sit down, okay? So nice. It's been a long time since I've been here, but this place is stunning. Welcome to Gordale Scar. There's a nice river going through that you've just seen and then you take a walk down the valley which is this away and you get to a waterfall like a really stunning waterfall i've not been here in a long time and it's very very nice it's, oh, it's beautiful today it's just the best thing ever in the whole world help help with what what do you want to do <laughs> i just looked him straight in the face and went martin <laughs> and i said your turn what do you want to throw a rock and he went no my turn down in water <laughs> I was like, it's a bit cold, but we did bring spare shoes and spare clothes. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah, Prinny's already in. She's Prinny's living a man, getting life. them paws dusted <laughs> off. Go get up, Prin. I love places like this, you know, where, like, there's water. Don't you think water just makes everything more... Yeah, more, more fun. More fun. Like, it, number one, it's more. It's so relaxing when you can hear water the flowing. Noise the noise is so nice. But number two, I just think kids just love water. My children do anyway, so... I just, I just love being by water, even if it's a tiny little <laughs> stream like this. Hey, it's decent, this has got a good flow to it. This, you could almost swim in this one. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, babe. <laughs> Chase is thinking about it for sure. Big, I want too big. That one's too big. I don't. It gets deeper up there. We're going to go see a big waterfall soon too. I want too big. Is that one up there a bit too big for you? No, I want a big one. <laughs> oh, okay, you playing. I do. We're going to love it in summertime when it's really hot and we can properly play in the water, won't you? For now, Wellies will have to do. Let's throw a rock. Let's okay, throw a rock, okay, okay ma'am. Good boy. Jace is um, practising his big brother duties with Isla's. Mary Shortle. Oh, did he bite finger? It's called rain. It's called rain. Ella, bite your finger. Did he bite your finger? I do. Did he give him a finger? I do. Aww. Aww. Oh, he's patting his finger. 
his hand. So cute. Oh, Manny baby, we've got a big walk for so. Yeah, careful, let's make it get too wet. I took my socks off because the water oh, dries my feet. Ow. Oh, oh, help! I have to pick up the baby by his head! Hello, oh, Rain. Let me get the baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so nice to be out of the house. Out of yeah, the house so and just nice. somewhere new. You know, we've not been here in so, so, so long. And everywhere that we've been lately has been like the same places over and over again, which it's is so which is fine, but this, well. this place is just stunning. The only thing that would make this more perfect <laughs> is if our caravan was just there. Oh yeah, that'd be well good, that. And we had our chairs yeah. out and barbie. Nice, Are you allowed to bring caravans some... on here? Is it just tents? Just tents, just I think. Tents, yeah, no caravans in here. Yeah. yeah. I'm so looking forward but to adventures. So we could, we could have put, we could be wild camping. That'd be so cool. It'd be so nice. Make <laughs> some dinner and stay here. Sheep. I don't think we've got that much longer to go until we're allowed to stay <laughs> overnight. Uh, yeah, not long at all. Do you remember oh, yeah, there's a sheep by sheep? <laughs> we went to the cottage and there's like camp sheep. Camp on the 12th, so 12th of April you can do. So like 10 days or whatever. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. 10 days and we can go in the caravan? Yeah, yeah. Caravan self contained. It's nine days. It's nine days. It's the 3rd of April today. Oh my gosh, I'm, so, I'm literally so excited for that. But we'll probably be moving. We'll be moving first. <laughs> Soon. We'll yeah, we'll 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 moving first, we'll then we'll do some stuff. It's a sheep. Jace, look a sheep. No, don't talk. We need to look. Yo, Jace, I can't believe Jace has seen this, you but can he's see it as a face, definitely. He's looking up at the face on the, on the cliff. Say hello! You can see up here. It looks like a face, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. <laughs> That's really cool, man. Jace is just laughing at that. Right, I'm gonna go up and see if I can get some waterfall. It's confirmed, guys. He just said, whoa, big daddy one. And then he went, nam, eat his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a big one? We're trying to get his nose. Um, nom. <laughs> Careful, Lesme. I've seen it. Brit, there's always one, isn't there? Hey, it's always going to be our Esme. I don't know what Dad thinks he's doing up there. <laughs> This is a mountain climber. Oh my gosh, his kid's like hanging off the edge of there. It's freaking me out. Look at Dad. <laughs> so it turns out, guys, that Chris wasn't trying to climb the waterfall after all. He actually tripped and dropped in some pretty expensive equipment <laughs> into the waterfall, um, including Isabel's phone, a gimbal. The reason Isabel's phone and a gimbal because whenever we come to places like this and we get shots on a gimbal, you need to use an iPhone for the gimbal that we've got. And obviously me and Chris have Samsung, so Isabel always says, use mine. Um, so her phone was on the gimbal at the bottom of the waterfall and he can't get his his it must be frozen because he's actually in the waterfall up to his waist right now oh my gosh that guy's getting naked is he gonna jump in so, so everyone saw chris and they were all like they were all saying i think he must have lost something so we were all like he lost something and then this guy just said do you want some help but this man's now taking his clothes off this man's gonna get in so 
Chris was just saying, there's, there's not really much point because it's going to be dead now anyway. The phone will be dead. It's got your phone, it's, it's got your phone! Oh my gosh, she's got a phone! Yes! It's working! Oh my gosh, this guy's a legend! I'm not I'm not gonna put the camera on because it's disrespectful, but this guy's just taken off his like top and his trousers and he, and he's in the waterfall searching for a phone. This is a stranger. And dad's trousers are soaked. It's gonna have to get changed in the car. I can't believe he's got your phone! Yeah! too much bothered about the actual phone it was just her memories that were on the phone she was really gutted about we're not sure if they're back to on iCloud I think they will be but yeah now, it's been a bit of a stressful 20 minutes guys but it looks like things are looking up I cannot believe there's a guy in the waterfall up there with dad I'm not talking, but I'm I know he's, he's, he's down at the minute you can only see his head um dad's there yeah oh, one minute yeah, we can do, yeah. yeah. Have you found the gimbal? Oh, poor guy, he looks... Oh. Poor guy. Right at the bottom of the waterfall. I think it's not a thing, but if they don't put the phone, it's a phone. I think Dad said the phone's working. Said it's really yeah. God, I can't believe strangers are so nice. might not work. You know, because like, the water yeah, might, might not. Yeah, they might not. Honestly, he everywhere we go, everywhere we go, he loses something in water. Ooh. Every time. He was, yeah, he was up there, so we were like, he's up there, up there for quite a long time. He I was like, what's he doing? Down. He kept ducking down in the same place. So we were all like, oh, maybe he's lost something. And then I was like, oh, my, he had my gimbal, and the phone, and my phone. And, phone. and it wasn't in his hand. And so I was, I was like, really nervous phone. with him coming down. And I was like, what happened? And, it, and, and his bag he, as well. He was just like, silent because he was coming down. I was shouting, what happened? What he was is just it? silent. He was, like, he was like looking everywhere but me. And then he came down. I was like, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'll buy you a new phone. I'm so sorry, Ellen. I'm so sorry. It's not because he's first not crying. Just because I've got all my memories on there. And I know. I'm logging. I totally understand. I'm so glad he's got your phone back. The gimbal's not coming back. Yeah. The gimbal's not coming, but they've, the phone's back. We got the phone back. Still recording. <laughs> <laughs> it was still recording when the guy picked it out of the water. The, the speakers might not work too great, but at least you've got all your memories and everything. At least we got lost some of the footage today. Yeah, today so. You were never. No, ever going in water with any equipment no. ever again? My gimbal's gone. Gimbal's gone. gone. Oh, you've already bought that. Oh, it's so it's like that. This. It'll dry out though. So we'll get it in rice when we get home. It'll be fine. Are you cold? You look I'm, I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got back home, we're just getting some stuff organised before we all wrap up and go to bed. Everyone's running lots of energy upstairs, don't know how they've still got energy after today and today's drama before we came home. But I just wanted to really quickly just jump on here and just tell you guys about one absolute hero that guy was this afternoon. That jumped in to the waterfall and like, saved Isabel's phone. Tell everyone what I did, like he was just so, getting dressed. So the, like, dude, the, dude, the dude was like, I came back down from the wall, I basically walked up the waterfall with my gimbal in hand and Isabel's phone on the gimbal because Isabel's phone is the only one that will I touch. I explained all that. Right, okay, so with a wide angle, da 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 da. Yeah. So there was a woman next to me, and she was climbing up the, to the waterfall as well, and she said to me, are you going the dry route because my trainers are wet? And so I looked over and went, ha ha ha, yeah, my feet are still dry. <laughs> At which point I slipped and threw my gimbal forward with Isabel's phone on straight into the, the really deep pool that's at the base of the waterfall. Now this pool is so deep that when this guy jumped in to try and find Isabel's phone, he sunk way under, like he, he went all the way in and he wasn't even close to the bottom of this pool, so it was massively deep. And I fell forward into it, threw the gimbal in, I was like totally taken aback, didn't know what on earth I'd done, obviously I'd slipped on a rock, um, but I was panicking, scrambling, throwing myself straight into the, the water to try and find the gimbal in the phone. And you know, the water was up to my shoulders and all over my chest, I obviously had my clothes on still because I was just panicking trying to find it. I couldn't feel anything in the water whatsoever, so Whoa, I kept trying. Sorry. This guy, right, he said it, the reason he went and helped was because he saw Isabel cry. Like, we didn't know this at the time, but when he came down later, he said, when I saw your daughter, like, cry like she did, I had to go and, had to go and help. But he went up to this rock pool and did the normal thing, like, take off your clothes and your coat and your trousers and just went in and his like his underpants, his boxer shorts. And so then when he got back out, we had clothes to put on. Idiot! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just jumped, I jumped in, in fully clothed. clothed. I didn't think that. I was just trying to. I was trying to find the phone before it sunk, but it was just too late. So I was, 
I kept trying to get in in different ways. Oh, the, my ward, I was totally and utterly soaked because I was all in up to, above my knees in my clothes and then all up on my shoulder and chest were soaked as well. I couldn't feel anything so I came back down obviously everyone was like, there was a bit of a crowd watching at the bottom and then I came down and Isabel was like, you know, where's, what's, what's wrong, what have you lost? And I said, I'm so sorry sweetheart, I've lost your phone and my gimbal and obviously she burst out crying, she was really upset. Um, luckily, even if, even if we hadn't found her phone, Obviously her stuff's back to my iCloud, I reminded her of that and I, obviously I told her I would buy her a new phone, it was my fault um, and she was fine. But yeah, the, so I basically said I'm going to leave my backpack with Sarah and run back up and get back in and find the phone and the gimbal because I wasn't leaving it. Even, though, leave if, even though they were probably broken. So I ran back up and out of nowhere this guy just pops apart out of nowhere next to me and he's like, he's like, dude I'm a photographer, I know how much that stuff costs, let me help. So I was like, okay, yeah, Sam, thank you. And then he goes, and meanwhile he's throwing his clothes off and I'm like, what are you doing dude? He goes, he goes, I love doing this man, I'm in, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's insane. And this water was cold, putting my arm in it made me want to scream. What did he say to you when he went under water? Yeah, he, so he, 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 he put himself light. straight in and he literally found his mother's phone within a few seconds because it was on a ledge. There's like a ledge just in the water, there's a ledge and he found it straight away and he pulled it out and it was still recording. This recorded the whole thing. That's how he found it though because the light was on. Yeah, so he saw the screen under the water and then, but then he came out of the water and he was like, he was like, dude, I'm having a panic attack, I can't breathe. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, you know, oh, come out and leave it, it doesn't matter. Just leave the gimbal, leave it all in there, it's fine. And he goes, no, I'm cool, man, I'm cool. It was proper hard, man. And he was like, I'm cool. And he was like straight back under. Trying to search for this thing and this water, I cannot tell you how cold this water was, it was horrifically cold. And um, and this guy was, you know, full body deep in it, never mind just his arms and legs like I was, he was full body deep. Anyway, he searched and searched and searched and he wasn't giving up and um, he couldn't find the gimbal, it was gone. So the, the water trench was so deep though, it could have been anywhere. So we had to just say goodbye to the gimbal. And I'll tell you what else we had to say goodbye to I fam. Hold up, I'm not getting to that point. Anyway, we literally, <laughs> went, I went down, I, we were talking to him for a while, I was like, I'm so thankful, thank you so much, Dude, what can I do? And he was just like, nah, it's Cool man, it's all good. I, I like doing this sort of thing anyway. And he was drying himself off and putting his clothes back on. The dude is an absolute hero, man. And he, uh, I basically was like, I was like, babe, bring your bag. We've got some money to give him. What? And uh, so we literally raided all our bags. We had a twenty. Had, I, only had, I only had twenty pounds because we don't tend to have cash on us very often. But I know when we go to places like we went to today, there's ice cream vans, and it's always nice at the end of the day to get an ice cream. So I had twenty pounds to buy. Oh. Oh, I'm blurry. To buy, you know, we had twenty pounds to get everyone ice cream. And I was like, stuff the ice cream. Go and give him the twenty pound. And the girls were like. Oh. Oh no, actually, we got Isabel's phone back. It's it's fair, but um, yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's like, now I want my ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, no, I'd run after the guy, and I was like, dude, look, please take this twenty quid and get yourself some beers tonight, man, because you're an absolute legend, you're a hero, um, and that was it basically. But the guy was a proper, proper hero, and he saved the day, it saved my life, because Isabel would have never forgiven me for like weeks on end for that. No, she would straight away. Bless no, she straight was. She away. was cool. She's, she was crying her eyes out, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'm yeah. just. I'll, I'll be fine in a minute. Just give me a minute. I'll find it. Doesn't yeah, she matter. was. She was proper. Guy. Obviously, I told her. Obviously, I'll buy her. I'll buy her a new one that night. I, I would have come home and bought her a new one on, on Amazon it or whatever straight away. It was her, her memories. The iPhone 11 got put to its test today, and it was. It was Spot on, works fine. Um, You're gutted though because you wanted to buy a. Um... Well, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a list of purchases like I want to get camera wise at the minute. And this new 360 camera from Insta has come out and it's amazing. And I want to get this new drone from DJI. It's like. So this... now you're not getting any because you need to buy a new gimbal. <laughs> no, I'm just buying gimbal as well. No, you're not. What? We'll talk about no, that. No, you're not. <laughs> we'll talk later. Um, I am I am legit devastated though because that gimbal is my life. I use it all the time. Every vlog you see pretty much is had some gimbal it. use at some point. Portugal? Portugal. Right. Yeah, Portugal. You're so useless with water. We've lost about three GoPros with you in water. Yeah. You've lost a drone, drone in water. And a G7X. We've lost a G7X in water. And what is, what is not a good thing with me and cameras? You're not taking anything in <laughs> water anymore. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, we have to sort that out. We'll have to get um, we'll have to get a gimbal replaced or whatnot, but it's really sad because it's still at the bottom of Gordiel's car. Yeah. What's it called? Gordiel's car? Yeah, Malin. Is it Malin? It's still at the bottom of Gordiel's car. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it's Easter tomorrow, exciting, exciting. And we will see you tomorrow at five o'clock. We're gonna say good night and get these guys to bed, get ourselves to bed. Uh, I'm still freezing from, and this is not an exaggeration, I still feel cold. <laughs> Even though I've been in the car for like, you know, over an hour getting home. Um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow at five. Good night. Good night. Guys.